So today we want to discuss with you how to winterize your pond properly. Um, as the temperatures start to decline, we start getting our leaves dropping. We want to make sure that our pond system is good to go for the winter time. So today we're just going to kind of take you through my system here and what I do for the winter time and then show you what you should do for your system at home. All right, so one of the worst things you can have is dead decaying plant matter, dead decaying leaves in your pond. So you wanna make sure and continually skim and net out any of the leaves that fall into the pond. Keep your skimmers clean so that way you don't have leaf buildup. And then you wanna trim all your plants back. Um, so I get a, a cheap pair of pruners because you're gonna get these in the water and they're gonna rust and go bad on you. And what you wanna do on the lilies is you just wanna follow that stem and you actually really don't need pruners on these more for the, the heavier plants. But I just follow that stem down. We get about an inch above the rhizome and then I just use my thumbnail and just clip that leaf off. And then you want to pull all those so they don't decay over the winter in the pond. And then on any of your bog plants, I like to cut them about four inches above the root system. So any of your lizard's tail, we've got arrowhead out here, all your irises, this is swamp hibiscus. All of this can be trimmed down the same way. So you want to come about four inches above the root system and you just want to clip that off. You're just going to clip all those down, pull them out again so that way they don't become decaying matter in the pond and cause issues for your fish during the winter time. And one of the main things that we want to make sure we take care of for the winter is to keep the warm water on the bottom of the pond for the koi. So that way they don't have any issues through the winter time. And we don't really want to hyper cool the water. So we want to turn off our bottom drain, which is all pulled with this inline centrifugal pump here. Go ahead and get this system shut off. Pump controller. Always a good thing to uh, mark your cords so that way you know what goes to what. So you can see I don't have them marked here. One of these has gotta be it. There we go. And then we are gonna remove this pump for the winter time. So what we need is channel locks so we can disconnect uh, the front and back of this. And then we have a ball valve here. And what we'll do is shut that off so that way we don't have any water running to this part of the system for the winter time. Now that we've got that shut off, we can go ahead and disconnect that pump for the winter time. So now that we've got the pump shut off, we've got our ball valve closed so that way no water is being pulled from that bottom drain. We can just go ahead and disconnect the pump. We've got a union on the front of the pump here and then one on the uh, out flow of the pump and we just disconnect those, so that way we're good to remove the pump for the winter time. Now I like to leave my bottom drain running past the time when all the leaves fall out. So usually around November 1st is when I shut that piece of the system off. So that way all those leaves and stuff that get into the pond can still be pulled and filtered out of the system. And again, we don't want to hyper cool that nice warm water that's staying on the bottom of the pond because we want the fish to hibernate and stay in that warm water. So our aerators are down on the bottom during the summer. And what we want to do is raise those up in the system to about the top two feet of water. So that way we still get the aeration, we get the oxygenation to the water and we release the toxic gases that can build up under the ice in the winter. So all we're gonna do is pull our lines for that. And we've got those coming here. And we're just gonna pull that aeration off the bottom of the pond and then we're gonna put it right in front of the skimmer system here. So we're just gonna pull that up, place it right on the plant shelf here. So again, we're just moving that cooler water that's already at the surface of the pond, keeping that hole in the ice, and then that also allows that water movement to continue into that skimmer system during the winter time. We want to go ahead and uh, clean out and clear out the Profi Clear for the winter. So we're going to remove the lid 
And then what I like to do is open a few of these chambers here so that way we can clean. This just gets mucked up during the season in here. Got a lot of wasted algae. Um, and sometimes it can get in the gears of this drum. So you wanna flush that out so that way it can run nice and smooth in the springtime. So first thing, we've got our aeration going for the biological media. We're gonna shut that all off and then we're gonna drain the system. So we've got the aeration turned off. We've opened up our drain um, and we're gonna remove a couple of these panels inside so we can clean the gears. So we're just gonna get in here and clean this all out. It's really important to hit around this gear on the inside and get all the debris that's kind of stuck down in there so that way the motor and everything can run freely in the spring. And then the next thing we want to do if you've got a UV on the system is we want to remove that for the winter time. Um, with the quartz glass sleeves that's inside all UV systems, it's really susceptible to freeze and breakage in the winter. So we want to remove that entire system, get it inside somewhere where it's not going to freeze and keep that system good for the, for the following season. So we've got two connection pieces for it on the inside here. So we've got a union here and then one on the other side. And we want to completely disconnect those so that way we can pull that in the inside for the winter. Those pieces just unscrew. Um, there's an O-ring on both of these. So you want to make sure and keep those inside and keep them with your system so that way you don't lose them come springtime. So on this system, we run the Ultima 2 filters year round. But if you're gonna turn off your Ultima 2 filter, what you wanna do is first unplug your pump, and then you wanna rotate this handle to the winter setting. And what that'll do is drain your head and allow this to not freeze in the winter. So if you don't drain the head out and you get this to freeze in the winter, you can crack some of the plastic and then you'll have a leak come springtime. So you wanna set that to winter and just remember you've got this set to winter. Cause in the springtime when you turn the system back on, you wanna make sure and flip this back to filter and then plug your pump back in. And then you'll be good to go.